Senator Richard Herman joining me out of Vegas. Scott Peterson, quote, speaks out. Really? Shouldn't he have done that at the time of the trial? He's not going to get cross-examined. He's not going to get tested. He's going to say whatever fluffy piece of BS he wants to say. Yeah, I think it's pretty dangerous for him to be speaking out right now on any TV series. This is what's going to get. This could seal it for him because nothing good is going to come from what he's going to say in this documentary. Nothing good. He can't exonerate himself. Nobody believes him. He has no credibility personally. So they have to get the evidence elsewhere. But him speaking out, I think that's a very bad move. I can't believe his defense counsel is letting him do it. I wouldn't let a client do it. And uh, it's, it's just, it's no good. It's fraught with danger and uh, pitfalls and, and, and a good interviewer, probably bury him. So a good interviewer, Richard yeah. Herman, yes. If you or I were cross-examining him, he'd be limping out of that courtroom. But instead, this is a fluff piece, unlike what we're hearing in American Murder, Lacey Peterson, focusing on Lacey. Uh, Sky Borgman is with us, and she is the director of American Murder, Lacey Peterson. Sky, I want to bring everybody's attention back to what happened then, not my opinion, not Richard Herman's opinion of innocence, not what's going to be on a, a, a special or a documentary that's going to occur on Netflix, but the actual evidence. I want you to listen along with me and the panel to Ron Gransky's 911 call. Listen. How can I help you? Yes, uh, my son-in-law called. He's been playing golf. Mm -hmm. Morning, mm -hmm. 9.30. My daughter's been missing since this morning. She's eight months pregnant. She took her dog for a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. The dog came home with just a leash shot. So the dog came back without your daughter? Right. What's your stepdaughter's name? Scott Peterson. No, 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 your stepdaughter. Lacey Peterson. Lacey P-T-E-R-S-O-N, right? P-T-E-R-S-O-N. And she's white, black, Hispanic, Asian? Uh, she's Portuguese and white. How old is she? She's 26. So what time did she leave the house and didn't come back? That we don't know. We just got a call from our son-in-law that he left this morning at 9.30 to play golf. He mm -hmm. got home mm -hmm. about a half hour ago, mm -hmm. nowhere around. Okay, so she went to walk the dog way Walked it in that park. Uh, and she's eight months pregnant, you said? Pardon? She, you said she's eight months pregnant? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, I'll come out as soon as they're available. Okay. Okay? Okay. okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Sky Borgman, let me understand something. In the 911 call, Peterson tells his father-in-law, Lacey's dad, he went playing golf. Crazy me. I thought he said he went fishing. Yeah, that's one of the, the, the interesting things about this, too, is this fishing or golf story that Scott put out there. Um, from my understanding, he told, he told Ron Gransky that he went golfing, and he told one other neighbor that he went golfing. Everybody else he told he went fishing. I mean, I've tried to figure out the psychology behind that. If it was just. I think I know the psychology. <laughs> I Sky, think probably can I see it. Sky, please? Sky, you remember when I just told you the story about when my son went missing in the Baby Zero Superstore? Okay. That yeah. story has never, never changed. Has it changed, Jackie? Yeah. I've been telling it since he was almost two years old. He's 16 now. Why? Because that's what happened. I, I haven't changed it to I was waltzing through Saks Fifth Avenue. No, I haven't said I was jogging. I haven't changed the story that we were out in a park. Why? Because that's not true. I think I know why he changed his story. Uh, and I'm going to get this from Susan Hendricks. Susan Hendricks joining us, investigative journalist and author who covered the case. Isn't it true that he changed his story? Scott Peterson changed his story from golfing to fishing at the San Francisco Bay, the marina, where Lacey's body turned up after it came out that the guy collecting tickets or letting people in and out of the parking area at the marina remembered him. So he was yeah, busted. Absolutely. He really was. And he had an explanation at the time for anything that came his way saying, well, the weather in a whisper really wasn't good for golfing. So you take a boat that no one knows you own and go out on a boat when the weather's bad. And I remember on December 
8th, which screams premeditation to me, he Googled the tide, the bay tide for that time.